But it says it's going to possess my soul. No, no, no. Fuck that doll. That shit's getting burnt. If it thinks my forehead is too fucking big, I'm People, welcome the fuck back. Look, if you're not new here, you already know the deal, you already know the vibes. I'm Kaz, welcome the fuck back. I love all of you if you're not already subscribed. And if you don't have that notification bell on, I'm gonna ring your fucking bell. Okay, I'm gonna come to your house and I'm gonna go in there and you know, like the hunchback in Notre Dame, right? I don't even know if that's the right analogy. You know, ringing that fucking bell. Pack and Fortress ringing that bell, that's gonna be me on your skull. That's gonna be me showing you that uppercut. That's gonna be me showing you that, that nasty right hook that I got, okay? See that? See that on my knuckle? Yeah, I knocked my friend's tooth out on accident. That was very stupid of me. It was very dumb, okay? But just, just so you know, that right hook could come out of nowhere, okay? Even on accident. So if you're a little bit too close to me, if you're a little bit too close, I might, I might hit you with that backhand. But anyways, today's video, we had another wiki how. Now, if you didn't watch the last wiki how videos, I encourage you to go watch this. Basically what it is, is I find the most ridiculous fucking wiki how shit that you've ever heard of in your life and why anybody would want to learn how to do such a thing. So in today's, we have how to act like you're possessed, right? Everybody wants to do that, everyone wants, right? You know what I'm talking about, like you wanna play a little prank on your friends, like instead of acting goofy, you act like a demon is in your soul and controlling your every move and like plotting to kill your friends. All right, we're gonna learn how to become possessed. First things first, exhibit sudden personality changes. A usually happy and social person might become quiet and withdrawn, followed by negativity and hostility. You know, I think this route might get you into therapy first, so you might want to think that one through a little bit. Or, you know, and then I think the second route after therapy, once they figure out that you're, you know, possessed, they might, you know, just like casually walk in your room one night, tie you to a fucking cross, and take you over to the church and fucking drown you in holy water. Because that's what, I'm pretty sure that's how you get rid of demons. It's just water, you waterboard the demon out of you. You just waterboard the demon. You just, there was still fucking water in there, damn it. You just freaking waterboard the demon. Right? You choke the demon out of you. So, if you want to get waterboarded in a church on a Tuesday at 8.30 p.m., then you could continue doing this. Anyways, moving on. Show a lack of interest in all your hobbies. You're just acting like you're, like, depressed. This maybe not be, not, might not be the best look. Sooner or later, your parents are going to be like, you know what? They need help, and next thing you know, you're in a room with a bunch of colorful blocks and with a bunch of blocks in your hands so that you can't hurt yourself. And now what are you doing, right? You're thinking, oh, I was going to have a fun time. Oh, my God, uh. All of a sudden, this little gag put you in a fucking mental asylum. Bet you didn't think that through. <laughs> what the fuck? Develop sudden and violent verbal outbursts? Look at this fucking picture. Look at this fucking picture. Make angry, unexpected comments in the midst of a casual conversation or a quiet dinner? What the fuck is this? You're just sitting at dinner and your dad's just like, hey son, how was, uh, how'd that, how'd that test go today? And you just hit him with the fucking... What is he doing, a fucking mating call? He looks like a fucking whale. Looks like he's about to deep throat some c Maybe the next one is how to be possessed. And they show the picture of his mouth wide open and they go, take out all of your teeth and offer to suck anyone's dick for $5 on the corner. How to be a possessed crackhead. Twitch a little bit? Once again, you're sitting at dinner. Not only did you just scream, but then your dad hit you with the, son, what the, what the fucking shit? What the fucking shit, son? Are you, what the fuck is wrong with you? And then your son just sitting there. You know what your parents are gonna do? Probably come over there and smack the shit out of you. Fucking, they're probably gonna think you're having a seizure and also having an orgasm at the same time. Like, what the fuck is wrong with them? Cause you and me are moving at the speed of light into eternity. Sorry, I took my hoodie off and I just ate dinner, sorry. I know, that's totally throwing you off, I'm sure, but you probably won't even notice. All right, anyways, on to the next one. Next one, uh-oh. Leave incriminating books and images lying around. Look at this picture. They're gonna think you're in a cult. They're gonna think you're in a cult, dude. What is happening here? Oh my God. What are you drawing on those pieces of paper? Oh no. Here we go, back to waterboarding you in holy water. I mean, you're doing it to yourself. I mean, I don't know, what do you want from me? I mean, it's just freaking insane. Like, what, 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 what's the goal? I get the goal is to look like you're possessed, but I feel like we're taking it too far. I feel like we're going too much into this. I feel like it's straight out of pocket at this point. Next one, do unnerving things in public. Sit in a chair, facing the wall, and laugh hysterically to yourself. Be seen having furtive conversations with no one in dark corners. Do you want to know what that looks like? 
<laughs> dude, that's crazy. No way, dude. That's whoa. Holy shit, you're are you a demon? No way. Whoa, those, your horns are cool. Whoa, don't touch me there. Oh, what? Sorry. Well, I guess the touching thing, it doesn't have to necessarily be a demon, you know. I could have. I guess it could also be a pretty. Wait, it also says rock back and forth while repeating a phrase under your breath? <laughs> what? Tricks are for kids. Tricks are for kids. The rabbit won't hurt me. He can't get me in here. I'm safe here. They're great. They're great. What are they? What are they, damn it? They're great. I swear, sir. They're great. What are they? Sir, they're, they're great. They're, they're great. Parents are gonna walk in and be like, what the fuck is going on? They're gonna be like, I think, I think Tony the Tiger beat his ass. Next thing is using makeup to look possessed. Okay, we're not gonna go through every little bit of this. Let's see how far they go. So this is the end of the makeup look to make you look possessed. What the fuck? I mean, if we're being completely honest, it looks like some of you bitches when you don't get a good night's rest. No, seriously though, what's the goal? Look like you're from The Walking Dead? Second of all, some of you, some of you don't even have to go for this lip look with your crusty ass. I'm sorry. If I saw this person in public, you know what I would think? Definitely not that they're possessed. I would be like, I'm sorry. Do you need some fucking aquaphor, sir? Let me put that on your fucking face. Your crusty ass. What is that, the Grand Canyon in your mouth? What, did you have a Category 9 earthquake up there? Come on, dude. My God, get, get some aquaphor. Also, back to the picture. You know what I would think from you? I would just think you're extremely goth. Not once would I be like, oh yeah, they're possessed. What is the fucking demon making you put makeup on? They're gonna go to the priest and be like, listen, I mean, they're putting all this makeup on. Clearly, clearly the demon is a fashion guru and they want my son to look this way. No, okay? If I saw this kid, I would just be like, they're clearly just going through a phase. Maybe they need to go to a Fallout Boy concert, get a tattoo and shake it all out. All right, just shake it all about. They maybe just need to put the left hand in, put the right hand in, take them both out and shake it all about. They just need to get the emotional demons out. It's not necessarily a, that they're possessed, it's just that they're going through a phase. That's all I would think. Can you imagine every goth per person you saw in public just living their life, just out there living their life? You see them in public, you just start pointing, you're like, you gotta demon in you. Where the fuck did that joke go? I hope this makes sense when I'm editing because that was everywhere. That went from A to fucking leopard. That went from A to leopard. I don't even know what happened there. Oh my god. Look at this. Darken your fingernails and make them look dirty? Don't touch me. Don't if anybody- look, I don't care possessed or not. Get your dirty nails away from me. Ew, it's gross. Get out of here. Get that out of my face, dude. What's the point of that? What are we even getting into? I know the whole point is this is to look possessed. Dirty fingernails. I mean, possessed or not, I'm gonna hope your fingernails are clean. I'm gonna hope your hygiene is up to par, especially now with this pandemic. Gonna go around walking with, with dirty fingernails? I'm gonna go ahead and assume you got COVID-19 up in there. I'm gonna go ahead and assume you got COVID-19 up in your cuticles. Fucking psycho. Here we go again. Displaying physical disturbances. Wake up screaming. You don't think that's gonna alarm your parents? I think it will. <laughs> Scream unintelligibly and thrash around so that you look unkempt and sweaty when someone comes to look at you. Open your eyes as wide as you can and make sure your facial expressions so that you're terrified. This is what I got from that. You wanna see what that looks like? I hate it here. Uh, freaking. And your parents walk in and you just go. And you're just on your floor, you're like, hey mom. Yeah, no, it's fine, I'm just really, I'm just really sweaty. I'm like, oh my god, what are you getting? I'm getting early, I'm getting a workout in. I'm getting a crazy workout in, I'm crazy. And I'm, I'm possessed. Next one, this one's cool. Practice yoga, strength, and flexibility training. I don't really see what the fuck is wrong. Possessed people are often depicted in popular cinema as being able to contort their bodies. Okay, I mean, whatever. If you could bend your body a certain way, that's not gonna freak me. I mean, sure, it's gonna maybe it's gonna make me throw up if you could fucking stick your kneecap up your asshole. But I mean, at the, at the end of the day, I'm not gonna sit there and be like, this person is possessed. I mean, I might call you a lot of other names, but possessed probably wouldn't be one of them. I would just be like, wow, you. I didn't even know a kneecap could go that far up your ass, but I'm I'm impressed. I'm a little weirded out, but I'm impressed at the end of the day. Once again, look at these fucking photos. Act catonic and go long periods without blinking. When others attempt to talk to you or move you, remain silent, keep your body rigid, and your eyes unfocused. Make it difficult for anyone to physically move you. You're just sitting there and you're like, just like, Anthony, will you please talk to the- Anthony, will you- come on, we are not doing this all- Anthony, I'm gonna push you- don't do it, bitch! I will lash out- oh, I hate this. Practice rolling your eyes so that only the whites show? What are you, the Undertaker? 
Can I even do that? I don't even think I can do that. I think it just looks like I'm having a fucking stroke. Let me know if it looks like I'm having a stroke. I, I feel like I'm having a stroke, actually. But like, also like getting like fucking a pole shoved up my ass. <laughs> Holy shit. Learn a new language or a few Latin phrases? What the fuck? This is so time consuming. You have to learn a new language? I'm not even trying to act possessed and I can't even learn a second language. And it's part of my college curriculum. Develop a creepy voice? Let me, let me try my creepy voice. If someone came up to me like, oh my god, Anthony, I heard you're possessed. What's up, dude? And I would be like, yeah, I'm fucking possessed. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Yeah, I'm fucking possessed. Yeah, I lift, I lift weights and I'll beat your fucking ass. You know, I work out at Gold's gym. Yeah, me and Gold will go way back. I'll beat, I'll beat the living shit out of you. Oh my god, Anthony, are you possessed? Or did you just take too much creatine? I don't know. I'm somewhere in the middle. All I know is that, is that I'll beat your ass and dig up a grave in the same night. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a damn. I don't give no fucks anymore. I will put your head between two cylinders and crack it open and then drink your brain juice. I'm gonna like it too. I'm gonna like every second that you can drink in your damn brain juice. I'm gonna lick it and I'm gonna use it as some fucking lube. All right, um, I took that too far. Anyways, we're gonna end with our little community Q&A here. All right, this is the first one I'm doing. Wanna know what the question is? Will this help me get a boyfriend? No, it will not. Uh, you wanna know what their answer was? Probably not. If you're trying to put forth the impression that he's the only person who can exercise you, you're essentially being abusive. And if he's smart, he'll just walk away before getting into a relationship with someone like you. On the other hand, if he likes you better possessed than not, then he's, I'm sorry, okay. Who the fuck would literally hang out with a girl, get home that night and be like, dude, she gives crazy top, but like, she's like totally fucking possessed. No, I mean like if she wasn't possessed, I like totally wouldn't be in her, but dude, but like literally whenever she like threatens my life and like tells me she's gonna like fucking kill my whole lineage, like I just, I don't know what it is, but I just get it so hard. Here's another good one. What if I break a bone in my body while doing some weird stunts? Um, yeah, definitely try not to do that. Uh, keep your stunt within the safety range. And uh, if that does happen though, you should obviously get medical help. I scroll down a little bit. Someone's like, yeah, so I like straight up jumped off my fucking roof and I straight up can't walk. Like I, I straight up my legs, they don't do what they're supposed to anymore. And like, I'm kind of pissed. Anyways, I think that's it. I think that's going to be it for today's video. I don't know what the fuck today's video was. That was fucking weird. Anyways, next video, Christmas shit's coming. Don't you fucking worry about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, once again, please subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Click the bell to turn them on. Uh, fucking like the video. Share it with everybody you know because it will really, really help me out. I really fucking appreciate it. Anyways, like usual, all my socials are in the description down below if you want to go check those out. And I love you guys. I'll see you next video. Peace.